Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Chof, and we're back again with a new video. This is a video by Kurzegas. It's German, so I can't pronounce it right, okay? My bad. We need to rethink exercise. Updated version. Let's check it out, okay? I've done a bit of exercise, so I know some stuff. Losing weight is hard, and unfortunately, no, your not. body is Listen, sabotaged. Anybody that says losing weight is hard is lying to you. It's extremely easy. It's extremely simple. You just, I don't you know, every people don't want to do it. Your body is a biological machine that follows the laws of thermodynamics and needs energy and raw materials okay. to stay alive. If your body looks like that, you got some problems, okay? What Which the is hell? What you eat. The energy from food is measured in calories, yep. and you need a certain amount to power your internal True. machines. Your brain thinks, your heart pumps, your gut digests, your immune system immunes. Immunes. You contract your muscles to move around. The harder a movement is, the more calories you burn. That is true. An hour of walking burns about 260 I mean, calories. Moderate swimming, 430. Okay. Biking, 600. Running, 700. Okay, for, first off, these are very broad. There's, first off, the main thing that depends on how many calories you burn is intensity of the exercise and how much you weigh, okay? Because if you're 50 kilograms, you're going to burn less than a dude that's 100 kilograms, okay? That's straight up how it works. And you can run like this. Or you can roll like this, okay? And that, 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 so this, um, if you eat or, more I guess, calories you than you burn, your body stores them mostly in the form of fat. True. One kilogram or two pounds of fat is about 7,000 7, calories. I did not know that. Damn. Seems simple. It's a lot to of calories. To weight, you have to burn more than you eat, so fat is turned back into energy. Or just not intake as much. There are two ways to do this. Eating less, which we'll cover in another video, and burning more, say by moving around aimlessly. Also True. called working aimlessly. out. Aimlessly. <laughs> we also get told early on that exercising is healthy somehow, so working out should kill two birds with one stone. Yes. Unfortunately, this doesn't exactly work out. To me. It's one of these frustrating experiences where you do what, what? you think's right, only to not see the results you deserve. In reality, focusing on exercising is not a reliable way to lose weight. Some stuff. Yes, it is. What do you mean, brother? If you exercise more than in your normal life than when you didn't exercise, you're going to lose weight. They show that huh? exercise can lead to some fat loss, others that it's minimal. What? How can this be? Wait, who should, which, what? That is false. Well, listen, any movement you do burns calories. Any movement. So if you do 50 minutes of, cal of like running a day and you eat the same amount as when you didn't do the 50 minute rank, you're going to lose weight. Straight up. What is he it saying? turns out that until recently, we fundamentally misunderstood what moving around a lot does to did, our bodies. Did we? Disclaimer. The science on fat loss is complicated, and many studies compare no, vastly not. different populations. Different no, it's not. It's extremely simple. Measurements and are complicated to understand. Okay, and this the is online confusing discussion me. is full of personal anecdotes. This video I mean, everybody's different. general principles based okay, on let's current see the general. research. All right. But when you look at the individual, there are variations. Of course. It matters if you're an athlete or casually try to lose weight. Yep. The myth of your gender, your weight, a lot of things matter. Yeah. The workout. The type of food you take. Scientists some began things to compare to populations digest. in industrialized societies, which sit a lot, to hunter-gatherer communities who move around a lot. The Hadza people in Tanzania walk an average of nine kilometers a day to find wild plants and hunt animals. God damn. Dig for tubers, climb trees what is that for honey, looks like a giant ballsack. They can move more in a single day than an office worker in a week. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they burn more calories, right? But it turns out that the Hadza burn the same amount of calories per day as a typical person in an industrialized country. Okay, first uh off, so just because you're sitting on a chair. So there was this, uh, I remember this study from back in the day is that they took chess players, professional chess players while playing chess. You, you think that wouldn't burn any calories. You're sitting at the board and you're looking at the board, you're moving pieces, right? But those motherfuckers in the one professional day, like classical chess, it's like hours and hours on end. They burnt more calories than dudes in the gym. So you being on your computer doing uh, heavy brain activity work might burn a decent amount of calories, okay? Or it might not. It depends on what you do. If you're just sitting on a chair, it's not doing anything. Around 1,900 so for women uh, and around 2,600 you know, for men. Damn, which that's doesn't so make sense little. at all. It's also not their genes. I mean, it does make sense. Since it's the same for other hunter-gatherer tribes. So the confused scientists looked at similar measurements in individual countries. It got even stranger. Active people who work out regularly do burn more than inactive people, but only very little, often as low as 100 calories. Okay, so 
Weight exercise does not burn that many calories. It burns calories, but it doesn't work. Ca Cardio burns calories, level. okay? For some strange reason, in the long term, the amount of calories you burn is often relatively unrelated to your lifestyle. Per kilo of muscle weight, your body has a relatively fixed calorie budget it wants to burn per day. Sure, if you want to gain muscles by pumping iron, you also need to eat Pump more to iron. build and sustain them, or Bro. your new muscles wither away. But mm. in total, your body keeps your calorie budget per unit of you pretty stable. And to make matters worse, if you want to lose fat, your body sabotages you in small and big ways. First of all, when you begin to work out regularly, maybe going for a run in the morning, your body may subconsciously make you move less when you don't yeah. pay attention. That is true. I've seen studies of this. You're going to fidget less during the day, which is quite interesting. Maybe you take the elevator instead of the stairs, you sit more when you meet your friends, or you sleep longer, largely balancing out your burn again, preventing you from burning much fat. You can overcome this temporarily. Ah, if you do damn. actually change your life after sitting around for years and suddenly start working out without eating more, this is a shock to your system. You actually do burn more calories and lose fat, so you can lose weight through exercise. But this is often very short-lived. Your body adapts okay. and burns fewer and... I mean, it's kind of right, but not really. Listen, the best way to lose weight is eat a little bit less and exercise a little bit more. You don't do anything drastic. Doing anything drastic is going to fuck you up. Okay. Fewer extra calories but each saying week, that exercise doesn't it do anything is its original a very budget. false statement. After a few months, you burn a very similar amount to what you did when you didn't work out. If you stay really consistent, your burn might increase slightly, and your body composition might change, but most people struggle with keeping up the habit if they don't love the extra movement. No, most people struggle because they're idiots. They go to the extreme. I mean, listen, this is my personal... Uh... Person, what I've personally seen, most people when they get really fat and then they suddenly want to get really skinny, right? They want to lose a lot of weight really fast. That doesn't happen in a day. It takes a long time. So you need to do little changes, not huge changes, because huge changes, people don't stick with huge changes. So, Which is why so many people hit a weight loss plateau. Objection. What about muscles? Muscles, about muscles? burn three times more calories at rest than fat. This sounds impressive, but tissues like your brain, skin, or intestines burn way more. True. In absolute terms, a more muscular body composition makes a difference for how many calories your body burns, but it's relatively small. Muscles matter a lot for health, longevity, and performance, but not that much for weight loss. Bizarre. And now we're getting to the actual Bizarre. reason why exercise is healthy. Why your body sabotaging. is sabotaging you. So your body has an activity budget per uh -huh. day that it wants to stick to. This setting evolved when humans had to move a lot. Not because they wanted to, but because they had to find food for survival. But when food is abundant and exercise is voluntary, what does your body do with the energy that you're not using to move around? Reserves, baby. Reserves. Here. And this is relatively new science, but in a nutshell, there are many different systems in your body trying to do their job as well as possible. And if there's extra energy, they seem to use it. Unfortunately, this is bad. When your immune cells <laughs> detect bad. injuries or infections, they trigger inflammation. Fighter cells, alarm chemicals, and fluids flood into your tissue. Uh -huh. This is crucial, but it also causes damage, so it needs to be cleaned up quickly or it can become chronic. And chronic inflammation is one of the major contributors to many serious diseases, from cancer to heart failure. If your immune system is on a tight budget, it has to be efficient with inflammation. With lots of free calories, though, it overcommits. Another thing is that your glands produce hormones you don't need, like cortisol, the stress hormone which triggers your fight or flight response. Crucial for survival, Fine, but if you have too much of it, you get, well, very stressed all the time. Chronic stress is a major cause for a bouquet of health issues, including your mental state. For our ancestors who moved a lot and had to deal with sudden bursts of activity, fleeing from a lion, attacking that bison, this cortisol was crucial. But if you live a modern, sedentary lifestyle, your body is ready for action that doesn't happen, hurting itself in the process. Your body evolved to move regularly and is fine-tuned to a certain base level of activity. If this Wait, activity is missing... What was that whole point? I, I'm kind of confused. This whole point, I did not get what the whole... What? It still uses almost the identical amount of energy just on stupid stuff. This is why you burn a similar amount of calories whether you work out or not. 
a lot of the energy you spend working out is energy you don't spend on other physical activities and body processes. Working out is not a magic bullet, but it seems to restore an internal physical balance that seriously affects your body. And this is also why regular exercise is so incredibly healthy. Yes, the it evidence is. is incredibly clear here. Yes. It reduces chronic inflammation and stress, it's good for your heart, may ease depression, and makes you live longer and better. Absolutely. Why humans okay, are... I'm very confused. He keeps making... Am I... Is it just me being stupid or does he keep making statements that counter each other? Like he keeps saying that... I don't know. I don't too know. Too hungry. Yeah, let me know in when the comments. Your ancestors Why are evolved, humans so hungry? They had to work hard for calories. <laughs> Sometimes it would be easy and they could afford to chill out quite a bit. But in hard times, they had to move quite a bit to feed themselves, walk longer to find prey, or dig longer to find Wait. tubers. Listen, I don't think you need to go back this far for a, to see... The, like, people 300 years ago still had to work hard, okay? <laughs> if extra movement Why, so we going more back calories, thousands of years this would ago? lead to a spiral of starvation. <laughs> God damn. The less food you find, the more energy you need to find food, which doesn't even fill you up because you moved more. It's like taking on more debt when you're in the red. It works True. for a while, but then you go bankrupt and die. Damn. So, for your ancestors, Real being shift. able to move a lot without burning extra calories was a matter of life and death. Okay, but this means the obesity epidemic of the modern world is not primarily caused by laziness, but by overeating. Humans evolved to be mad for calories because of our extremely hungry brains and our extremely useless kids. Kids are cute, but unlike other species, human kids okay, have been... First off, kids, are, kids are not cute. Kids are fucking annoying. ...fed and cared for by adults for years before they become even remotely useful. True. Because the human brain not Some only become up useful about 20% of all our calories at rest, twice as much as our closest ape relatives, it also takes a lot of time to develop through playing, learning and honing social skills, uh -huh. all the things that make us human. Our species is so extremely calorie expensive to maintain that we became super efficient calorie harvesters. Calorie Five harvesters. hours of human hunter-gatherer foraging yields between 3,000 and 5,000 calories, while our ape relatives get no more than 1,500 <laughs> in the same time. Like you losers. <laughs> and we became so good at calorie harvesting precisely because of our big brains and years of social skill training. Uh huh. In a typical ancestral tribe, some members would spend the day searching for plants, others hunting or gathering honey, others nurturing kids. And at the end of the day, we'd share the calories so that no one would end up hungry. Okay. Being frenetic calorie harvesters Milk. seems to be deeply part of what makes us human. It's not a bug, but a feature. It's a feature. But today, it seems as if that feature has turned on us. Okay. We can't... No, no, it doesn't, brother. It just shows that you have lack of self-control. We just have a wider selection of things and life is just easier. Have self-control, motherfucker. Stop overproducing food not... and overeating. No, we're not. If you want to lose fat, reducing calories is the biggest part of the yes. answer. We'll cover diet in the next part. And, and the thing is, people think they need to reduce their calorie intake by like thousands. No, just reduce it by 100, 200, 300 per day. Do a little bit of exercise, it's gonna burn like 100, 200 calories. And you are good. 15 minutes of cardio a day, uh, one less Snickers a day, and you are good, brother. So to conclude, a couple of months, you're, you're gonna be good. Not lose nearly as much fat by you gonna happen a day. You, hoped, you didn't become a fat ass motherfucker in a day. Important. You ain't gonna Give become skinny in a day. And make you more resilient and prevent ah, or delay. Thought she was gonna kick that ball straight up in that dumb ass kid's face. Oh, that would have been glorious. God damn it! Many Missed of the diseases that will make your life miserable, <laughs> so you can enjoy a higher quality of life for much longer. Okay, I'm a physical fitness. I'll be honest with you. Of advertisement. I'll be honest, I, I don't think, I, I don't agree with a lot of the statements made in this video. Like, I don't know. I've done, like, I've done a little bit of research for myself. I had a, like, I've lost some weight. I, I used to be like 93 kilos. Now I'm like 90, but I'm a lot cleaner. So I don't know. Listen, let me know. Seems like this is the end, right? Or just drop. Yeah, it's just the advertisement. Let me know what y'all think about this. I don't really agree with this, which is weird because this is supposed to be, they didn't give any studies, any science based reasons for the statements in this video which kind of annoys me i'm gonna be honest with you this they just made statements and i don't agree with a lot of these statements but it is what it is let me know what y'all think and i'll see y'all next time okay bye everybody